Okay, we're here at the Expo Center where the West Texas Fair is going to be. There's going to be a lot of changes, a lot of construction happening. Everyone is asking questions. No one knows where anything is going to be. So we're going to go inside and talk to Rochelle Johnson. She's the person in charge of all of this and she's going to tell us how everything's going to work. The entrances, the food, the attractions. Uh, so let's go. Let's go to it. Hi, I'm Rochelle Johnson with the West Texas Fair and Rodeo and the Taylor County Expo Center. And what we see behind us is the second phase of our construction. This will be the new event center for all horse shows and uh, livestock shows. We'll move all dirt events out of the Coliseum and to this in new event center. Uh, it will not be completed by fair time, but it will be completed by the time we get to the Western Heritage next year. Uh, the other part of the segment that we've got under construction right now is where the old livestock barn was, and it is going to be paved by the end of this week, and so we'll have asphalt down, and that's where the carnival is going to go during the West Texas Fair and Rodeo. Where, this what? is where the livestock barn used to be. Um, it probably came to about right here, about here where we are, and... Uh, Obviously, the barn has been completely demolished. We'll come up here and get out and take some pictures here <clears throat> and talk a little bit about what we got going on here. has always been down there where the new building is, is being built okay because there was a barn here that came well from the fence line there all the way uh not quite to where that big light pole is but all the way down there there was a, a large barn here that was built in the late 40s early 50s and so it was really out of date and was going to cost about as much money to renovate and bring up to to today's standards is building a new barn did. So we just, because of the other events that we have here, we chose to just knock this down and build the new facility down there. The theory is, is to try to keep all of our livestock uh, and equine events separated from our people events, because we rent all of these buildings out here for uh, birthday parties and wedding receptions, quinceaneras, that type of thing every weekend. So by getting rid of all of the, the buildings right here, we'll have a great parking lot for those events every weekend. Um, you mentioned the uh, things that you were going to be doing there, the behind the scenes part of thing. Right. How, how's that going to work? Well, that's going to continue. That'll be continue to be fenced off during the fair. And actually where we're standing will be fenced off during the fair. But as we look over here to the general office, we'll have a pathway from the, the front part of the facility that'll come over to the carnival area and then down into our food booth area. We'll also be utilizing our east entrance, which is one of our main entrances, as, as a place for people to come in for the fair. So you mentioned the fair is going to be that way. That, that way. So we can turn around here and look at it. Um, what we have here, you can see that they're still watering uh, and, and getting the ground prepared. It's going to get asphalt put down on it by the end of this week. And then the carnival will set up in this area as well as some of our other outside vendors. So we can't be sure that there's going to be a fair. That most definitely there will be a fair. This construction company is working 24-7 to make sure we're prepared for it. Now, I've heard a lot of people say there's going to be a different setup for the fair. Correct. What would that setup be? Like the, the, the food people, um, the attractions, everything? Everything. Well, first and foremost, as we said before, the carnival used to be set up where the new building is right now under construction. So we're moving the carnival to the east end of the facility. So that's a major change in the fair. Uh, our food booths and all of our outside vendors have been down what we call the midway that has kind of formed into this to the carnival. Uh, they're going to be side by side now, and so we've what we've done is we've flipped how our food booths, our our, our temporary food booths, are stationed. We've changed where we're going to have them during the fair uh, to be in what we feel will be the better traffic pattern for them based on the new setup out here. Uh, several of our permanent food booths have already been demolished and the rest of them will be demolished after the after this year's fair and we will go straight to just having uh food trucks and trailers out here as opposed to having the permanent food booths that decision was really made from an economic decision but also because those booths are only used 10 days out of the year and we wanted to have a, a facility that was multifunctional 365 days out of the year right the carnival's going to be right behind me and then our food booths that are here still are going to be 
uh, with us and then we'll have more food trucks and, and the other vendors, the you know, whatever it might be, whether it be clothing or jewelry or whatever that sets up outside, we'll have those outside as well. So it'll be side by side, it'll be next to the buildings. It's gonna be a little bit more compact, but once we get this area developed in phase three, as well as, as getting the second facility finished in phase two, the traffic flow will, will really make sense to everybody. So it used to work that people come in here from different areas, right? There we see the shuttle wheel stadium and there the main gate, but now this is going to change because there's a lot of construction happening. Can you tell us more about that? Well, what we plan to do this year is to continue to use the north gate that's east of the Coliseum that's been our main uh, focus because of the large parking lot there, as well as this east gate uh, uh, closer to the airport. Those people that are parking over on our west parking lots, as well as parking over at Shotwell, we will have shuttles to bring them back and forth. Uh, we made the decision not to bring them next to the construction of the new facility because we didn't feel that was safe. So we're going to pull them around the parking lots and bring them in with shuttles. And you think it's going to be there's going to be enough parking lot for everything for everyone? I believe that there will be. We've we've you know going to have to just adjust a little bit and and be happy with one another. But we're going to have to make it through this construction. It's just just a little bit of that has to go on. And so can you just point directly where is the entrance going to be? Okay, well that we have this main entrance right up here. I don't know if you can see the stop sign, but I always refer to the zoo sign. We're kind of across from the zoo uh, main entrance to come into our large parking lot here. And then if you'll see the rock gate or the rocks down here, the rock pillars, that'll be the other entrance that people can come through. It will be those two entrances. Yes, for our, our, v, our spectators. Now we'll have livestock gates that'll be open for different events and our rodeo gates, but for our general public spectating, those will be the gates we ask you to come through. As you can see, this is where the West Texas Fair and Rodeo is going to be. And we talk about the food, we talk about well, how we're going to get in, the attractions, so everything is going to be. Now let's talk about the dates. How is this going to work? When is it going to be? Well, we'll start taking uh, entries to our creative arts on September the 3rd. So that's Tuesday after Labor Day. Thursday on the 5th of September will be sneak a peek. Well, every, everybody can come on the grounds free of, of charge, but get to see all of the rides and so forth that are available. And then starting on the 6th, running through the 14th of September will be the West Texas Fair and Rodeo. We've got a great lineup of entertainers on our stage. Uh, we've got great livestock shows, great rodeo planned. And so we just hope everybody will come out. Thank you very much, Rocho. Uh, that, was, that was very helpful. Um, I, I know people will appreciate that. I know this is a big deal in Abilene. And, uh, Anything else you want to tell us? No, just thank you very much for coming out. We look forward to seeing you during the fair. All right, well, this is Martin Mercado with Big Country Home Beach. Thank you.